Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys. Really excited because I'm going to be going to unbox the iPhone 8 Plus 64 gig unlock. As you can see on my screen here that I bought off Mercari and this is the order status and the receipt for it. So this box, you know, we're going to go ahead and unbox it um, for you guys. Before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as, as we will be giving away iPhone to one of our subscribers to enter the giveaway. Simply like this video, share this video on all of your social media site. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button. And then in the comments section, leave a comment what phone you're currently using to enter this giveaway. So well, without further ado, as you saw um, on Mercari, you can find really good deals. So what Mercari is, it's an app. You have to download it on your iPhone, Android, or any kind of device that lets you download apps. And once you download it, sign up using the link in the description that I'll provide for you guys where you can get $30 towards your first purchase. And what Mercari is that it lets anyone buy and sell. So you can even sell your used stuff on it. As you can see, I showed you that the receipt for this one that I bought, it was only $200 uh, iPhone 8 Plus, you know, used of course, but even the used ones go for around three fifty, four hundred dollars on other sites. So we're pretty excited to do this unboxing. So the first thing we're gonna do here is uh, start taking this part here. All right, so we got this, um, and then you can see it came in this purple padded box, and the only thing included really was the phone itself, uh, nothing else. Sometimes they include the box, charger, um, everything. Depends on, you know, the seller's listing. And that's why the seller will be descriptive in the listing. Once you guys download it, you'll see what I mean for the most part. Uh, also, a couple uh, tips and trick about buying on Mercari is that, like with anything else, always check out the seller. When a listing of the seller's information is at the bottom of the listing. So make sure you guys scroll down and then click on the sellers to see what kind of ratings that they have. The, of course, you want a seller at least has like 10 or more ratings, I would say. And it, everyone's rated, buyers and sellers, when they make a transaction, they're rated out of five star. So, you know, if they have five star, you know, they're pretty legit. If they have no ratings or it shows that they recently joined and they're trying to sell like a iPhone 11 for 100 or $200 and it's really cheap, I wouldn't buy it. Or if someone is looking to say, hey, you have to, you know, send a payment outside of Mercari, don't ever do it. Those are scams, so stay away from those. So as you guys can see, um, as we take a look at this iPhone 8 Plus, this is a space gray edition. There's some rough uh, markings around the camera, but that's fine. Other than that, no other issues on the back side here. And then if you look at the top here, it looks clean for the most part. And then this side, that side, and then this side as well. And then if you take a look at the front screen, there is um, light, scratches and scarves but you can't really see it it's not anything deep that's why it's not it's hard to see under the light too you really have to go like really look at it to find it but then again guys remember this is a used phone so you know you're getting at a discounted price so most likely you know you're gonna experience you know of course some wear and tear so as you can see i'm um, powering it on right now kind of go ahead and to make sure that it's not icloud lock that's the other thing about buying iphones is you'll see tons of phones that are says iCloud lock or activation lock for really cheap price. Don't buy those phones because you won't be really able to use it. What that means is someone's account is already logged in and you have to know their password and email to sign out, which you won't know because the phone could be like someone lost and found phone or someone stole it or something like that. Stay away from those phones. They can be tempting, but just stay away from them. You can see here, we're gonna go ahead and select our language, connect to our Wi-Fi here. So I'm going ahead to go ahead, connect to the Wi-Fi here, like I said. So with any iPhones, when they're factory reset, you're gonna have to connect through a Wi-Fi, your uh, SIM card here, I believe you can put the SIM card here to get that data, or connect it to iTunes by using a data cable to even get passed through the setup process. Pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go through the process like I have done with all the other videos, should be pretty simple. This also gonna validate the phone is genuine. And then you can see you can set up our fingerprint, but we're not gonna set it up. The other thing is ask the seller if you have questions, like if the phone is 
fully functional. You don't want to buy a phone that has issues. There's going to be a lot of phones that are really cheap, but they have issues. Unless you don't care about that issue. Like some of them I hear like could be like touches and working, but everything else works. Um, you know, buttons are jammed or something like that. Usually I stay away from those, but if you're a person that don't mind those issues and are still looking to get a really super cheap phone, you can find some really super cheap phone. The other thing about on this app is you constantly have to look for deals. So people post it and they get sold right away because it's individual people selling their phone. So when you look at it, you may right away not see some good deals. You're going to have to keep on coming back and refreshing and refreshing to get good deals. So it takes time before you actually find a good deal. So we have to be a little bit patient there. So as you can see so far, we got to the home screen, no issues whatsoever. I'm going to test out some of the buttons here, like the volume, about up and down, uh, the power button, and then the home button, they look good. I usually check the camera out front and the back, as you can see, looks good. And then the next thing you want to check out here, of course, is uh, for this to make sure it's a genuine phone, you can go to the app store if it takes you to the app store like this it's a good phone it's a genuine phone of course this is one way to verify you can also use the serial number to look at apple site to verify it but this is how you usually can do it pretty quick the thing about the phone is that if it takes you to some google or android store it's most likely a knockoff phone so and the most people if it has really good ratings they're not going to be selling you a knockoff phone so you can rest assured that and the other thing about this app is that you have only three days to what's called rate the seller which means to confirm that you receive what you bought um there's no really like a 30 day 60 day or 90 day guarantee or return policy like most sellers offer on eBay and Amazon. That's the thing. It's kind of high risk, high reward. It's that you really have to know what you're getting into and quickly test it out within those three days. And then rate the seller on the experience out of five star. After you rate them, they rate you. And then the transaction is kind of complete. So that's the essential part of it. This is what I mean by um, the other thing I meant by iCloud is that if someone is signed in here, you won't be able to do anything. As you can see, no one signed in here and we are good to go here. And the iPhone 8 Plus, even in 2020, I think it's still a great phone. If you guys are looking to buy this phone, you can update it to iOS 14, which we recently released videos around. Make sure you guys check those out. Why, you know, iOS 14 could be pretty cool if you download it and what features to look out for and be excited about, basically. Uh, other than that, that's all we have. If you guys have any questions about Mercari, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try, we'll try to answer it. And like I said, if you guys are looking to check out some deals on this app, just go click on the link. Make sure you're on an iPhone or Android or some device that can actually download app and click that link or you won't get the credit. It's pretty important right there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.